I'm Dylan Dreyer. We are about to go on such an adventure. I hope you'll join me. Right now, I am standing in the archipelago Svalbard in the Norwegian capital city of Longyearbyen. Longyearbyen is the northernmost town on Earth. The population here in the summertime is 2,000. Population of polar bears, 2,500 to 3,000. There are more polar bears in this area than there are people who live in this town in the summertime. And this is all part of a Netflix special. It's called Our Planet, and they invited us along to see just how the, the crews and the teams capture the amazing footage you've seen in, in other things like Planet Earth. It's the same crews here shooting our planet and they invited us on board to see how it's all done. This particular episode includes the Arctic and the Antarctic. We came to the Arctic and we are about to get on these skidoos and we are going to go out about four to six hours and our goal is to find a polar bear. There's a pretty good chance that we could see some polar bears considering that there are more of them than there are of us in this area. So I hope you'll join me on what will be an amazing adventure. So I'm gonna hop right on. Start this up. And we're going to go. Fothergill, one of the series producers for Our Planet, mm -hmm. and I feel like we're on the moon. This is a very, very special place. We're sitting out on the sea ice. Uh, this is actually a frozen ocean here. Uh, we're in Svalbard, about 700 miles south of the uh, um, North Pole. It's pretty chilly, as you know, <laughs> yeah. and this is polar bear country. Um, out beyond there will be polar bears hunting for seals, and actually where we are, this is a perfect place for them because these cracks are, that we're sitting on actually are creating holes in the sea ice and seals which have to breathe like us pop up here so we're sitting in polar bear uh, uh, territory and you should keep scanning keep your eyes doing a 360 because out there are polar bears i have been uh especially when you said that this is the ideal place and i feel like there are a lot of places they could be hiding <laughs> and you're the ideal meal for a polar bear as oh, well good very to know. tasty <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh we have run into three polar bears. There's actually a fourth, a male, somewhere over there. Um, that was the same male we were trying to find yesterday, the footsteps that we saw on the ground. Uh, but the female, the mom and her cub, that's Misha. That's the one that our planet is all about. And it is really absolutely incredible to see her with her two cubs. One's a little more aggressive, uh, the other one's a little more I guess, cuddly. <laughs> um, either way, the aggressive one would come at us and really take a run at us if, if we let it. So we can only get so close. And um, I'm going to walk back this way because they're kind of far from me right now, but I can't tell which direction they're moving. And if they are moving in my direction, I'd like to be a little closer to the ski -doo so that uh, we can skedaddle if we need to. Um, but here I am, here I am out in Billy Fjord in the middle of the Arctic, 700 miles south of the North Pole. And there are polar bears. There are three polar bears right there. This is an experience of a lifetime. I, I didn't think we'd even find the polar bears, but the fact that we are standing this close to them is just unbelievable. I'm gonna go back to the ski do now. Awesome. 
was that. We saw in the wild, Misha, we found a polar bear and her two cubs. I mean, that's what we dreamed we'd find when we came out here. The fact that we actually saw it and just two days of looking is unbelievable. I mean, that and all of the beautiful scenery that we saw here uh, in this, this beautiful place. I mean, 700 miles south of the North Pole. Not many people have been this far north and not many people have seen what we've seen. So thanks for joining me. I hope you loved our adventure just as much as I did. I'm still pinching myself. See ya.